Hello programmers, welcome or welcome back to Programming Kids. My name is Lynn and today I am going to teach you how to install a Jupyter Notebook and we will be talking about its features. So for the past one or two months, we took a break off YouTube to learn a new way that we can code with the help of a Jupyter Notebook. Now, a Jupyter Notebook is way easier than the idle we used to use because it gives you the ability to see an input and an output. So a Jupyter Notebook opens an operator in your browser as a graphical interface for you to code, and it doesn't require internet connection as it happens locally. It allows you to add on Python files stored in a text editor. So for example, if you have a bunch of code that, that you stored on a text editor like Sublime or any other one, and you'd like to edit it on Jupyter Notebook, then you can just type in a few codes and it will allow you to do that. A Jupyter Notebook uses a notebook system and a cell-based system. So fun fact, the Jupyter Notebook uses an IPYNB file extension, and it's just an old file extension used for Python co codes stored in a text editor, and it stands for IPython Notebook. Now the new file extension is .py, but it's, they're both the same and they both don't differ at all. So don't be surprised to see that on your Jupyter Notebook. So now installing a Jupyter Notebook, how can you do that? You can do that with an Anaconda Navigator. It's a free distribution which includes Python as well as many other useful libraries, include, including Jupyter. Anaconda can be easily installed on any major operating system such as Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Anaconda may, might be great in size as it includes many libraries. So in case you don't have storage, you can check out Miniconda, which is such a smaller version and it occupies less space. So let's begin our installation by going to this website. I'm going to link it in the description so that you can click it and automatically go to that page. So all you have to do is to copy it or just click it and enter it on your browser. So I use Safari because I'm on Mac, but yeah. Um, this is the Anaconda page. Now what you have to do is scroll down till you see Anaconda installers. As you can see, it's organized as Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And there's two hyperlinks that you can choose in order to download or install Anaconda. So the first one over here is Windows, and make sure it's a Python 3 version, um, 3.8 to 3.9 you might have, because they might update it. But So you have two hyperlinks, one is 64-bit and one is 32-bit. Um, it is highly recommended that you go for 64-bit, but in case your Wi-Fi connection is slow or you don't have much storage, then you can go for the 32-bit. So it is highly recommended to go for the 64-bit for all of these, so the first link. Um, but again, if you have Wi-Fi problems or internet connection problems or you don't have storage, then you can go for the 32-bit or the second hyperlink. So yeah. Since I'm Mac, I'll just press on this one and it will give me a downloading page. Now, since it's going to take some time as the file is large, I'm going to go to my Anaconda that I already downloaded some time ago. So here we go. I'm going to open the Anaconda Navigator and it takes a while as it has many libraries that it should open, so we're going to wait. Okay guys, so this is my Anaconda Navigator. As you can see, there are, there are a lot of libraries and here's the Jupyter Notebook. There's also Jupyter Lab and a bunch of other stuff, but we mainly need a Jupyter Notebook, so we're just gonna have to launch this. And it's gonna launch my notebook. It will open a command and then it will open it on my browser you're going to press click here to go to Jupyter and here we go so I have Jupyter knows all of my folders and any untitled one that I have I have my desktop my documents and all that and I can go all into that these stuff and go through them but yeah so as you can see 
this is my Jupyter notebook and this is the old file extension IPYNB which stands for IPython notebook. Now in order to create a new page for you to start coding, all you have to do is press new Python 3 and it will open it here. So this is your cell base system, your notebook system. You can easily code over here and you can add as many blocks as you want. So for example, let's say I want to print a command. I'll just put print. Hello world. And here we go. It printed hello world. You can easily see your input, which is print, and this is your output. It's really easy and it's really organized. Now, um, you usually have to press on this one to run. But in case, so for example, let's say print. Oh. All right. So I have a command. Uh, I have a code here that I want to that I want my Jupyter notebook to print. But you have to press this one, and it can be a really long process. So keep on getting your mouse and pressing pressing that. So what you can do is command and enter and it will automatically do that for you so guys this is the introduction to jupyter notebook and anaconda navigator i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any questions regarding installing uh, anaconda make sure to comment that down below and i'll be happy to help you Thanks for watching, keep programming, and I'll see you guys next time on Programming Kids. Bye for now.